everyone, I'm Victoria Mana with a look at what's happening around the boroughs. Janine, as you can see, there's still some police activity going on here behind me. The last time the Nets made the NBA Finals was in 2003, but fans say they hope this will be their year. No injuries were reported, but the accident comes on the heels of a long string of cyclist fatalities. That's the latest from here in Elmhurst. Victoria Mana, New York One. Janine, we'll send it back to you in the newsroom. That's the latest from here in the East Village. Victoria Mana, New York One. We'll send it back to you. And that's a look at what's happening around the boroughs. I'm Victoria Mana. Shannon Briggs is a two-time world heavyweight boxing champion. He's beaten legends like Ray Mercer and George Foreman, prompting his nickname, Shannon the Cannon. They call me Shannon the Cannon because of the hands. Look at that hand. You know, that's the cannonball right there. <laughs> but life for Briggs has not always been victorious. He grew up here at the Atlantic Plaza Towers in Brownsville. I think I was around 13, 14 years old. Me and my mom, we lost our apartment, we were evicted. So it was really hard for me as a kid, you know, it was embarrassing. You had to be tough around here and protect yourself. Me as an only child, I didn't have any brothers and sisters growing up, so I had to fight for myself. At 17 years old, Briggs started boxing as a hobby. By 20, he began taking it more seriously. And at 25, he won a title over George Foreman. All my life, I lived here. He credits his success to growing up in Brownsville. And that's why he wants to give back to this community by opening a boxing gym. We're looking forward to open up the Brownsville Boxing Academy to give opportunity to people who don't see much opportunity. We want to open up a gym for kids who have something else. The neighborhood's changing, but we still see a lot of crime here, especially during the summer months. Briggs plans to open the Brownsville Boxing Academy here on Pitkin Avenue later this year. He hopes the gym can help raise more successful fighters in a neighborhood that bred some of the greats. Between Mike Tyson, Riddick Boy, myself, you got Zab, Judah, Curtis Steven, who is from right here, Danny Jacobs as well. Obviously, there must be something in the water because we got nothing but champions out here. Briggs says he hopes to share that history of growing up in Brownsville through a docu-series called Never Ran, Never Will. Although he now lives in Miami, he hasn't forgotten his old neighborhood. He says he always makes time to come back here. Let's go, champ. Where admiring fans still cheer him on. And where he wants to give back by opening a boxing academy. In Brownsville, Victoria Mana, New York One. Music has always been a passion for Jacqueline Epstein. From the time she was a young girl growing up on Staten Island, She's drawn on events in her life in her songwriting, but she never thought she'd write this song. And I just graduated college. I was about to start the real world. I was going on job interviews when I found a lump on my shoulder and I didn't think anything of it. Epstein was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's usually treatable, but hers fell into the 15%, considered difficult to cure. Being hospitalized was the first time I was like, oh wait, like, I could, this could really like be it for me, like this could be the end. She endured three rounds of chemotherapy, a stem cell transplant, more chemo, and a month in the hospital. Writing music, she says, helped her to press on, and her battle gave her music even more meaning. Music did everything for me. It was kind of gave me a sense of purpose. She shared her journey and her songs on social media, connecting with other cancer patients. Just giving people hope and giving people strength and that's I really believe like that's why I'm here and I think that's why we're all here. Producer Mike Mazzotta heard her music and says he was inspired. It takes a heart that's gone through change and insight to be able to say the things that she was saying. They paired up and wrote this song, Alive. She went through something where it's very easy for somebody to say why me? Why is this happening to me? And not only do I not see Jacqueline in uh, going through or embracing that victim identity or that level of victimization, instead, I feel like what Jacqueline's done is said, this is what's happening right now. What am I going to do about it? Epstein is 25 now, engaged, and doing gigs around the city while working on her music. She believes remission is just a word to use when there's no definitive end. And that has a huge impact on her music and how she lives life. Whether you're going you know, through cancer, depression, if you just lost somebody, whatever your, the pain in your life is, like you listen to this song and we're here, we're alive, we're, we're surviving. Epstein's album is now available for pre-sale. A percentage of the profits will go to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. 
Victoria Mana, New York 1.